Well, we actually wanted to go to Botswana in order to explore the possibilities of ministry among a particular people group there, the Naro San Bushman people group. We wanted to go and just explore the possibilities of ministry among that people group. The Narasan people, called the Bushmen, are the hunter-gatherers out in the African bush. Um, and they were kind of the lowest of the low. The, the purpose of the trip really was to see how we could better reach these people. They really needed discipleship and the understanding of the gospel. We wanted to find out about the spiritual temperature of the people. And of course we found out that there is some openness to that. There is a strong, strong tradition of being steeped in spiritism, worship of the ancestors and those kinds of things. And these are things we would have to address. There were uh, tales of witch doctors and witchcraft, lots of people who were just aimlessly wandering uh, from a spiritual standpoint. Well, what we found out is through an organization there that had translated the Bible, they had translated the Bible not only in written form, but also in audio form because being a people that was mostly oral, if you can't read, you have no way to hear the Bible. So they had gone to the extra step of translating and putting an audio form uh, where they could listen to it. So uh, that was a giant step for them in, in, as far as tools to be able to, to reach them. We were looking for someone that we could work through and we really thought we were going to go in one direction. We had heard reports of maybe there's somebody here that could fulfill that bill. And yet, kind of at the last minute, uh, God sent us somebody else. Overall, when I, we got to Botswana, I wasn't really sure what God could do through our little group to have a vision for this big native group, the Narasan. But as we were leaving, it was just such, it was just an awesome feeling that God had so directly answered our prayers and shown us these little ways that we could, we could minister perhaps as a as a church to this to this um, group of group of people. We just felt that great cloud of witnesses around us praying back home. They're no different than we are. There's only you know, uh, as Lee has said many times, there's only two types of people: those that are going to heaven, those that are going to hell. From Colossians four. Paul prayed for an open door for the Word so that he might speak forth the mystery of Christ. There's plenty of work to be done and there's plenty of wheat in the field to be harvested if we can find a way to do it.